state adds new conditions that qualify for medical marijuana program Minnesota Commissioner of Health Ed Ellinger has added two new conditions that allow people to qualify for the state's medical marijuana program. The conditions are autism spectrum disorders and obstructive sleep apnea. Any policy decisions about cannabis are difficult due to the relative lack of published scientific evidence, Ellinger said in a news release. However, There is increasing evidence for potential benefits of medical cannabis for those with severe autism and obstructive sleep apnea. The state's health department this year asked for the public's feedback to get their input on potential qualifying conditions. In June and July, citizens could submit petitions to express their viewpoints. People also participated in public comments as well as in a citizens' review panel, according to a news release. A total of 10 conditions were considered this year, including anxiety disorders, autism, corticobasal degeneration, dementia, endogenous cannabinoid deficiency syndrome, liver disease, nausea, obstructive sleep apnea, Parkinson's disease and peripheral neuropathy. Patients certified for the medical marijuana program because of autism must meet the DSM-5, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. 5th edition, Autism. For obstructive sleep apnea, patients must meet published diagnostic criteria for the condition, including interpretation of a formal sleep study. Patients who are certified to have autism or obstructive sleep apnea will be eligible to enroll in the program July 1, 2018 and can receive medical marijuana from the state's two manufacturers of medical cannabis starting August 1, 2018. Patients need to obtain certification from a Minnesota health care provider. To learn more about this process, go to www.health.state.mn.us web link. Other conditions that qualify people to participate in the state's medical marijuana program include cancer associated with severe, chronic pain, nausea or severe vomiting, or cachexia or severe wasting, glaucoma, HIV AIDS. Tourette's syndrome, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, seizures, including those characteristic of epilepsy, severe and persistent muscle spasms, including those characteristic of multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, including Crohn's disease, terminal illness, with a probable life expectancy of less than one year, intractable pain, post-traumatic stress disorder.